I'm sure that you've noticed a white patch on the face of your kid and you are worried if it is not vitiligo or leucoderma. Well, the most common cause of white patch in the child is not vitiligo. It is pityriasis alba. And in this video, I'll tell you how you can differentiate between these two diagnoses. In pityriasis alba, you would notice one or many oval hypopigmented patches on the face of your child. Hypopigmented means that the shade of the patch would be slightly lighter than the normal skin but never milky white in color. If the shade of the patch is close to milky white in color and it is visible from distance then the diagnosis is more likely to be vitiligo. So the first differentiating point is that vitiligo patches are milky white in color. They are visible from distance. Why? Pitreasis alba patches are hypopigmented and they are usually not visible from the distance. You can feel the patch with your finger. If that patch is feeling a little rough, if it is scaly, then it is more likely to be pitreasis alba rather than vitiligo. Well, I must tell you, most of the cases that of white patches in the face of a child with no family history of vitiligo are because of pityriasis alba. There is a wrong notion that pityriasis alba is caused by calcium deficiency or worm infestation. Pityriasis alba is just a slightly dry scaly skin and these patches of pityriasis alba will be more common if your child has atopic dermatitis. Now question arises when should you visit a dermatologist? If you have even slightest doubt that the patch is vitiligo, please consult your dermatologist immediately because it is very easy to treat a single small patch of vitiligo rather than many bigger patches of vitiligo. Also if the patches are red in color, if they are itchy and they are increasing in number, please consult a dermatologist, it could be some other diagnosis. If your child has pityriasis alba, all you need to do is use a mild cleanser twice a day on the face and moisturize the patch again and again. In the end, I would warn you, never put medicated tubes from the chemist on the face of your kid. Most of these tubes contain steroids that can be harmful. I have shared some baby safe products in the description box below that might help in reducing pityriasis alba. Thank you.